welcome back to X Media X. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get beautiful, beautiful curls using my Nikki Clark Mayfair Multi Styler. So you may notice today we have a completely different background. I am at Joe's house, aka the boyfriend, and tonight we are going out for a 30th birthday party. So I'm all dolled up in my pretty, pretty dress from Warehouse, and I've done a full face of makeup, and the only thing left to do is my hair. Um, and whenever I curl it and pop a picture on Instagram, all you guys always ask, please can I do a tutorial on how I curl it? So I thought I would do that for you today. Um, and it's a long overdue video, but we're here, so it's fine. Now, I have written a blog post on the Mayfair Multi Styler by Nikki Clark. Um, they sent it to me about five months ago, I think, to review, so I'll link that below. Go and check that out and read it. Um, it's basically just a hair wand with um, interchangeable heads. This is the thickest one that I use because I've obviously got quite a lot of hair. Um, but you can get really, really small ones to make super, super tight curls. Um, and I just absolutely love it. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did, um, but I used it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so easy, my curls look amazing, because before I was using my straighteners and I'd often get ridges and kinks in it, and it never looked as good as it does with this. So, here we are, I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, I have been doing my makeup uh, after I wash my hair, so my hair is pretty much nearly dry now, um, but I'm just going to dry my hair off and then I'll be back with you to show you how to curl. and dry, uh, we can get onto the curling. Now I haven't actually used any products on my hair today. I did film a everyday hair tutorial, uh, which you can see here, lovely, lovely here. Um, you can check that out to, use to, to look at the products that I normally use when I um, do my hair. But the only reason why I haven't put any products in today is because by the time I started, it was pretty much nearly dry anyway. And sometimes I find that when I put a load of products in my hair when it's nearly dry, it can make it look really greasy and horrible. So I haven't done anything with it. Um, the only thing I did was when, when I was in the shower earlier, I used uh, the macadamia deep repair mask uh, which I've done a review on ages and ages ago I'll link that below as well it's one of the best hair masks I've ever found it's amazing and it really does help condition your hair especially when you're on braid at the ends um, and I just think it's absolutely fantastic so I find often I don't need anything else after I've used it on my hair because it's nice and healthy anyway so we're going to start by clipping some sections back and I'm going to be using my super retro um, hair grip that is actually from the 90s not even exaggerating here I had this when I was a little kid in the 90s and it's kept going all the way through I think it actually glows in the dark or something or I think if you get it cold it changes colour and goes blue how exciting is that but basically I've popped my uh, multi Mayfair styler on it is currently heating up doesn't take long to heat up um, it doesn't really tell you when it is heated up it's just kind of got the blue light on so you know that it's on um, but it, it heats up really quickly um, so you can use it within a couple of minutes anyway so, I start off by sectioning my hair because I've got a hell of a lot of it um, and just taking the under sections at first. So, you can do this with a hair bubble, you can do this with any clips, whatever. Um, but literally, if you can see, ugh, I'm just sectioning up the top part and I'm going to clip it very unattractively, like so. So, we have the bottom bits free and ready to curl. So, if I move up a little bit, you can probably see a bit better. Right, so we need our safety gloves. It is very important because I burnt myself way too many times on these things um, thinking I was clever and didn't need the glove. I think this comes separately, I think you have to buy it separately, but it's worth investing in because there is no clamp with this um, curling iron. It's just literally the wand. So put this on and we'll stop burning your little fingers off. Very fetching. Okay, so I've just tested it on the front bit of my hair and it looks to be hot enough, it's producing a suitable curl. So all I do is I take a section of hair um, and I pop the, uh, the curling iron down and wrap backwards around the barrel until it's completely wrapped around. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And then cut my hand and gently unravel, oh, lost it, not doing very well here, but gently unravel from the barrel. Now, I've got a little trick to show you, I missed it there, so you can't see that, but I'll try on this side, um, a little trick to show you that I found really, really helps give you the best curls, and it's so, so simple, let me show you, I'm trying to do it with this one, so barrel facing down, wrap away from the head, it's very difficult to do this in a viewfinder, <laughs> probably going to take me hours. 
hold it for a couple of seconds and then let the curl drop out but hold it in your hand dropped it again it's very difficult to do when you can't see what you're doing but hold it there for a couple of seconds and then release it and it just gives you this beautiful bouncy curl and by holding it in your hand just for a couple of seconds it helps it cool down a little bit um, so uh, it cools in the curly shape instead of just letting it drop I'll try and get it with this one so it's very difficult when you can't actually see what you're doing so literally just curl it around hold it for a couple of seconds do 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 and then let it go, cup it in your hand like that and then let it drop and it gives you the most beautiful beautiful curls um, and mine do drop out through the night, they don't stay super super tight um, but that's exactly how I want it to look so I'm going to do the rest of my hair, that's the bottom section done, done it in four take off my Michael Jackson glove great, another bit of hair and do exactly the same thing again all the way around. wave um, but I just kind of run my fingers through it um, and play around with it until I'm kind of happy um, and then sometimes I might back home the roots a little bit if I want it a bit bigger on top um, but I do have an amazing product to show you actually let me go fetch it Ta-da! I completely forgot about this. Um, it is the Batiste XXL Plumping Powder, and I do often use this um, when I do my hair nice and curly, just to give it a bit of oomph at the roots. It's not a dry shampoo. Um, it's just, it literally is just a volumizing powder. You might have seen some of the adverts for them online uh, or on the telly, but I didn't realise that Batiste did one until they sent it through. And I have been wanting to try one for ages. Basically, it's just a powder that looks a bit like talcum powder um, and you t put a little bit on your fingers, rub it together it's, it feels quite sticky but it doesn't feel sticky when it's in your hair and then you just literally massage it into the roots look like a monkey scratching your head and it plumps up the roots without the need to back comb and it just makes it a little bit bigger so that's it guys, that is my easy bouncy curls tutorial, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, it's been a long time coming, uh, don't forget to click like if you did and subscribe if you are new, leave me a comment below, let me know um, your favourite hairstyle ever, or how you like to curl your hair, if you've got any tips as well, leave them below, I can always learn new stuff, um, but thank you very much for watching. One more thing before we go, um, the Cosmopolitan Blog Awards are now open for nominations for 2014, I would absolutely love it if you would nominate me, um, I, those of you who watch the channel will know that I got to go to the party last year because I was shortlisted which was amazing but I didn't win so I'd love to give it another go this year. Um, I will leave a link below in the info bar if you want to click that and nominate me it takes a couple of minutes um, but I would be so so grateful and leave me a comment below let me know that you've done it as well. But thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you again soon. Bye!